All right, we have General Jack Keane with us. Almost all the time I have the good general on with us. Uh, you know, I, I talk about Russia, I talk about Ukraine, what's going on. I don't want to be remiss and ignore that. But I would be remiss if I didn't talk about another general who uh, fears the possibility the United States and China are headed for war in a couple of years. I want to get General Jack Keane's thoughts on that. What do you think, General, what he's saying within two years? Yeah, well, this general is writing a memo, you know, to his own troops and leaders. And certainly, we're, we're a peacetime military right now. And the principal mission of peacetime military is to prepare for war. And I can remember myself when I was commanding troops at various levels, um, you know, to make certain they understood with clarity what we were about. You know, I would often cite to them that, look at guys, you know, we can be at war in a week, in a month, in a year. And we got to stay focused on what we're doing, because we never know when it's going to happen. You know, that, that kind of language. And I read his memo. It's direct. It's blunt. And, and he clearly uh, raising their expectations that they could be at war in a couple of years. The truth is, you know, the general, myself and others, we really don't know that answer. But we and it's a subjective analysis that leads you to some kind of conclusion. His that war is imminent. Mine is I don't think it is in, in the near term, but it's certainly possible. Um, and different uh, congressional members come to different conclusions themselves. But, but the reality is, and what we should focus on, is the fact that we are not as prepared as we should be. We do not have an effective military deterrence in the region. China has more ships, more planes, and, and more missiles than the United States has, to include our allies wrapped into that. And secondly, we know for a fact that Taiwan is not as prepared as it should be. And we face that reality dealing with Ukraine and Russia. And we should not repeat that mistake. Neil, there's $19 billion of backlog equipment that is scheduled for Taiwan, and they have paid for it. And they've been already waiting for it for a number of years. The Congress mm. has got to fix that system. It is broke. It's called foreign military sales. So if you look at the danger and the risk, yes, there is risk there. We have to help Taiwan, and we've got to fix our own problem and our own knitting. That is what we should really be focusing on. Let's remove the risk and be prepared for war. And that's how we prevent war. We prevent war by being prepared for it. Well said, General. Thank you very, very much, General.